I think I come at this organization and what's needed with a very humble approach. My intention is always to move an organization forward and certainly to do this for the athletes. When I was hired, it took the first six months to really understand from the community what was actually going on in this organization. The kickoff to initiating the change was a, a really pointed conversation with the board in November of 2014 to say, we have a credibility issue, we have a strategy issue, we are not servicing our community well. And it was a hard message to deliver, but it was an important one because at that point it was delivered in a way that was very real, but also to say, so what do we want to do about this? I don't think change of the magnitude that we're talking about is ever easy. We had bylaws that did not serve our governance model very, very well. Those bylaws have been changed fundamentally. We got a board of directors supported by governance committees, and the volunteers are in those committees on their board to govern, not to run the organization. Then you've got the operating committees full of really, really qualified volunteers who can help the management team make a difference, run the organization operationally to the standards that uh, we aspire to. By changing the, the bylaws and changing the governance structure, that then allowed us to accelerate a lot quicker on some of the strategy pieces, the brand piece, really starting to focus on our athletes and our community more. And generally speaking, human beings have a re resistance, a tendency to resist change, that's normal. So it's not been easy, but how do you make the breakthrough? You collaborate, you dialogue, you have open, honest communication. And uh, Eva has led that, and I think it's really made a difference. One thing that we have not done well is bring our partners to the table and to truly engage them in this movement and engage them in, in our future. The conversation started in spring of 2015. There was obviously a change in Equestrian Canada, you see, on the direction of the brand. They were looking for partners to, to team up with that would understand the vision and had an authentic desire to be part of a Canadian team. Equestrian is the only sport so relatable to fashion, which for us is what we're really passionate about. As underestimated as it can be, a uniform is powerful. If you get to wear that same jacket, that means you're on the team. A good brand is never driven fiscally. It's never driven by the dollar. It's not driven because what can I design today and get it out tomorrow and make money? Very successful brands aren't built that way. Successful brands are built on passion. If everybody's in agreement that whatever was going on before wasn't working the way that they'd hoped and they weren't getting the results that they were looking for, you gotta give this a try. And uh, be a little bit open-minded to a fresh approach. We wanna be relevant to kids and to families. We think that we have a pretty amazing opportunity to offer, which is an experience with a horse. So that's the vision, to be best in class in everything that we do and to do that for our community.